Hey everyone, we're going to do a quick video on how to flash an RX 480 4GB card into an 8GB card. A few things here. So first of all, this will not work on all cards. It is at your own risk. You may damage or brick your card by doing this. But if you want to play around, then this is the way that you would go about the procedure. So uh, there are two models of the RX 480, 4GB and 8GB. The press samples had a toggleable vBIOS where we could switch between 4 and 8, even though the card physically has 8. It appears that a lot of the early retail samples also have this, and so you can do the same sort of modified flashing procedure that we do to get it all functional. You can see in GPU-Z we've got a 4 gigabyte card, and you need a utility called ATI Flash, and you need version 274. I'll have a link in the description below for where to download that. Once you extract it, the tool we want is ATIWinFlash.exe. When you open it, it will... Oh, we have to do it as a, launch it as administrator. Uh, when you launch it as administrator and open it, you'll get this dialog, and this allows us to load images or save an existing image. So I would always recommend saving your existing image no matter what. I have a folder called ROMs. I'm going to save it there. So we've got an 8 gigabyte one. I'm going to save this as 4 gigabyte retail card. This will take a moment. It'll save. Give it some time. Let it do its thing. Uh, okay, so ROM saved the file. And now if you want to load an image, you click load image, and you're going to need, obviously, an 8 gigabyte image to make this work. So if you already have an 8 gigabyte card, if you have two cards or Crossfire or something, or you just have an extra one, you can use this program to save the 8 gigabyte ROM from your other card. You swap the cards physically, and then you load and program the ROM into the 4 gigabyte card. If you do not have that luxury, and you're working off things from the internet, you can download an 8 gigabyte ROM from places online. Uh, I, I believe Tech Power Up has one of theirs posted. We may build a, a vBIOS repository in the future, but you download one from them, double click it. So you can see here we've got 8 gigabyte ROM in there. Click program and that will flash the vBIOS. At this point, if you have physically uh, multiple chips, you, well, you really should check that before you flash. Uh, but if you have the multiple, uh, the, the eight chips, for VRAM, then this will work and you'll unlock effectively an eight gigabyte card. Uh, so here's the, the warnings. Warning number one, if you do this, even with a card that has eight chips for VRAM, for memory, uh, it could break, it might not work, it might be slow. So you, if, if you go through this procedure and it says success, you wanna restart and then test in games, validate, make sure the memory speed is moving at the frequency it should be. And if all looks good, then you are successful. Uh, the other risk is if you have a 4 gigabyte card, and maybe this is in the future from when we film the video, and there are actually cards with lower density or capacity VRAM modules, it will still look like 8 chips on the PCB, but they might just be a lower density. If that's the case, if that's where the manufacturing goes in the future, there's a risk of causing some damage, but it really just depends on how the vBIOS is programmed and how, uh, how you load it onto the card. So those are the disclaimers. Kind of, you, you want a decent idea of what you're doing before you do this, but that is the process of flashing vBIOS on the AMD Radeon RX 480. And if you want to go back, we can go backwards as well. And uh, I, I would advise restarting before doing that. But yeah, so reboot the system to take effect. Yes, we understand that. If I wanted to go back, I'd reboot, click load image, go to ROMs, grab the four gigabyte ROM, and that would put us back to where we were in the event that flashing to eight gigabytes breaks the card or slows it down. We can just throw back to the four gigabyte model and that's it. So uh, I believe doing this will, will void your warranty. I'm not 100% positive. That's normally the case though. It depends on your manufacturer you buy from and AIB partners and things like that and if they have multi BIOS, uh, but totally at your own risk. So uh, good luck, play around, let us know how it works out for you. And as always, subscribe for more content like this. Hit the Patreon link in the post video. It helps out directly. And I'll see you all next time.